Hello Virgo. First off, thank you to everyone for subscribing, liking, and commenting on the videos on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them, asked that each of you receives at least one message. It is for a large audience. So let's go ahead and see what they have. Okay, good, you can see those. So first off, this top row up here. So we have eight of Gabriel, and at the bottom it says a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. And then the next card we have is reach out. And then the last card is family. And at the bottom it says, I pray for my family and give the situation over to God for answers, support, and healing. So what they're saying is that there are a number of you that are having um, something, not just one thing, but a number of things are coming to a culmination point. Like it says on here, a great deal of activity, but, but it's a lot of things um, coming to a head, culminating at one time. And for some of you, you know, you are not aware that you do have help. There is help out there for you. You just need to ask for help because it's a lot at once. So they're saying for a number of you, you've had to endure some difficult challenges, some dark times. You've had to let things go. You've had to make big changes, big shifts. You keep praying and asking for these, these things to come into your life that, that you desire, be it a new home, a, a spouse, someone to share your life with, a family, change of careers, for some of you starting your own business. But there are things that, you know, these are your hopes and desires. Um, and for many of you, it's, it's, it's related to love. And you've been desiring these things. You've been praying for these things. These things have not come to fruition. But you have, they're saying, they're saying that, you, you know, you have given up so much in, uh, in preparation. And some of you are starting to lose faith. If you look, she's, you know, looking very sad and forlorn in that card. Because they're saying some of you, it's been a long road. They're saying it's been a long road. There's been a lot of things, but a number of things are actually going to culminate and you're going to see some very swift, immediate action, very swift, immediate changes for the better. Some of you are going to have to make decisions. Some of you are going to have to um, communicate those decisions. Some of you are going to have some communication come to you and you're going to have to make a decision about that. For some of you, there are going to be decisions about your family. For some of you, it's going to be decisions about starting a family, but for everyone, it's matters of the heart. Sharing your life with someone, starting a family with someone, it, it's matters of the heart, and, it, and it's a lot of things that are happening at once, but they're saying to have faith. They're also saying don't don't worry, don't have anxiety, because there is help, you know, praying ask for their help. They're also saying a number of you, you, you have friends, you have family to lean on, ask for their help, because you don't have to go through this alone, they're saying, um, because there's a lot of help out there for you, because they're saying it, it it's... They're saying it's the big final step of all these things coming in at one time to bring your, your hopes and dreams to fruition. So you, you've made it through the dark times, all the things that you've had to endure and change and get through. Happiness is right there. They're bringing it all in at one time. For some, it is gonna be making some decisions, but they're there, they're there to help you. Just ask for their help, they will assist you because they can't help you if you don't ask them. So just ask and they will help you. And, and, and they keep saying, don't be alarmed, don't be worried, don't be anxious about these changes that come in because these, these are to, for some of you, to empower you. For some of you, this is to, to bring those shifts, those things that you want to fruition. Be it you have to move, be it moving forward with meeting someone, marriage. Um, but, but it's big things and it's a lot at once. So don't be overwhelmed, don't be anxious. This is, this is, they're saying for a lot of you, this is what you want that you've been praying for. They're just, they're bringing it all to you at one time. So instead of easing it in, like, here's your dream home. And then a couple months later, here's the love of your lifetime. And then six months later, here's family. They're just, it's compounding. It's, it's, I get a sense for a number of you. It's like everything, if not almost everything at one time. So be open to embracing it, open to receiving it, ask for some help, pray for help. Um, receive that and everything will go very smoothly they're saying now situation two down here the first card we have it's a major arcana it's two it's the high priestess at the bottom it says powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace and then we have crown chakra and that's also a major arcana and then the last card that we have is jesus and on the bottom it says 
I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with this situation. So the high priestess, you know, sometimes this can be, you know, the high priestess is, is one, you know, she's very, very connected to the divine, has a lot of, you know, intuitions. You know, sometimes this is referencing people going through a spiritual awakening. But what they're saying is that there's a number of you out there that are trying to make some decisions. Um, you're trying to make some decisions regarding um, moving, relocation. They're saying some of you trying to decide to move forward with a new love. And they say that, they, that your, your dreams are right there. You hold the key, but you're not sure. Okay, so they're saying you're afraid to take that step. You're afraid to uh, move forward because you know, because um, the crown chakra, you know, that, that's chakras are energy centers. And your crown chakra, it's the top one. It's the one that connects you to the divine, that, that knowing, that intuitive information. So they're saying for most of you, so say you're trying to decide, do I move forward with this person that I've met? You know that that's the person to move forward with you, that you should be moving forward with, but because of things that have happened in the past, you're hesitant, you're afraid to do that. But you know, you have a deep knowing that this is where you're supposed to go. This is where you're being led. And for some of you, it's, you know, relocation. You know the location where you should be going to. You've been thinking about it. You've been contemplating about it. You, you know that's what's meant for you, but you haven't opened up and embraced it yet. And they're saying for most of you, um, this, is, this is matters of the heart. They're saying that um, in the recent past, you'd received some form of communication, some form of news that just really um, rocked your world, really shocked you. So for some of you, they're saying like a, a person you thought you were going to be with came in and you found that that was not the case. They were with someone else. They were marrying someone else, the pregnant with someone else's baby, moving on with someone else. Um, and you'd found that you, for some of you, were just, you know, being used for financial purposes, other reasons, um, strung along. They're saying for some of you, you had like residence changes come in and, and there was some communication that you recently received that just came in as, as changing your, your location, your residence where you live and unexpected. But the thing is, they're saying that these changes are leading you to where you're meant to be. And you know that they're, they're leading you to where you're supposed to be living. For some of you, they're leading you to the love that you're supposed to be with. When you look at this card, um, Archangel Haniel, she's got, she has her arms wide open. So for some of you, it's a love situation and you have this love of a lifetime, she's waiting on you. Arms are open, but you need to take that step forward. For some of you, um, a new residence location that's ready for you. So they're saying everything's ready. You just need to trust the information that you're getting because a lot of you, you've been receiving psychic intuitive information, guidance, a, a ton of signs they're saying for a number of you um, to move forward. But they're saying that, you know, you have to open up. You have to, for those of you that this is love related, you're going to have to open up your emotions. You're going to have to communicate with that person, that new person that they brought into your life um, and move forward with them. And, and for those of you that this is a, a relocation um, moving, you're, you're going to have to move forward and set sail and move to that new location because that's where your happiness awaits. That's where your garden, your abundance, where everything is, is waiting for you. Now, they want me to read the book for this card, Jesus. So let's find that real quick. And if you're curious, those are the Doreen Virtue, Mary, Queen of Angels cards. Okay, so Jesus. Mother Mary sends you this card because you have a close and personal relationship with her son, Jesus. They both hear and lovingly answer your prayers. Jesus offers healing support to you and your loved ones as well as helping you have faith in God's miracles of love. This card is also a reminder that Jesus loves you and everyone on this planet, regardless of faith. He's a wonderful role model of forgiveness, integrity, and love that you can emulate in your current situation. For a number of you, this is related to love. It's related to unconditional love and love that awaits you. But you're gonna have to open up, you're gonna have to trust, you're gonna have to take those steps forward. Um, and they're encouraging you to do that, to embrace it. And that's it. That's all they've got for us. So this this is good. This means we don't have this much work to do. And there's gonna be some, um, some miracles that are gonna be coming out of it. So I do wish you all the very best with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.